Stone Stars, I'm back, and it is time for round number five of our $20 Millionaire's Club group book scratch. So at this point, we have six $20 tickets that we'll be scratching on this episode, and then we also have $5 banked toward whatever happens next round. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I have three tickets from two different books. So it's nine, 10, and 11 from one book, and then 11, 12, and 13 from another book. Fingers crossed that this is the round that we find something huge, something that we've been looking for, which is that million dollar winner. Every day, more and more of these tickets are getting sold, making the overall odds of finding that jackpot much better, but it can be anywhere in Texas, which is kind of crazy because Texas is huge. We're looking to match the winning numbers or find a coin for an auto win a crown for double or a 10X. Still have not seen that 10X. I would love to see it. But you know what, all in all, we haven't done too shabby, we're still alive. This is the fifth round with our initial $500 investment, so can't complain too bad. We've had a good run so far and hopefully there's something in here that helps us keep going or gives us the million dollars. Wow, the numbers are actually pretty consistently even on this one. Haven't seen that very much. Usually they're all over the place. 45. All right, Let's see last row. We didn't get much symbol love last round, so hopefully, all right, we got a winner. Hopefully we'll find some symbol love this round. 33.41. All right, we're starting off with a $25 winner. All right, I guess that's better than $20. Hopefully that's not the only one in that stack though. Let's move on to ticket number 10. See what I mean? This one's more like how the numbers are usually printed. They're all over the place. They're not all in, in a perfect line. That one's a little higher, but usually they're even worse than that. If you've seen the previous episodes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of cray cray. 28. All right, nothing yet. Lucky 13. Nothing yet. Let's see if we can find something on these last two rows. Last ticket was a nice save on that very last row. Ticket number 10 is a loser. Hopefully number 11 has a little bit more love for us. We ended up with two number 11s, one from, one from each book. All right, 13, 41, lucky 18, 25, and one. So lucky 13 or lucky 18, need you to put your game face on. Come on, we need one more win from this book. I mean, the fact that we found one is good because it's actually, technically speaking, from the way the odds are printed, we bought three and we got a winner, but I'd love to get two from a three ticket, from three sequential tickets, three ticket purchase. 24. All right, last row. And it did not happen. So these three tickets only yielded us one $25 winner. So not the best result. Now we're gonna do the next three tickets from another book. Hopefully one of these has something good sitting in it. 
44, 49, 46, 48, 15, 15, or a symbol. I've been missing that crown. I wish that crown would show up again. And that would be fabulous. Nothing yet. All right, next row. Nothing yet. All right, so it looks like this one's also a loser, not doing too well. All right, let's see what ticket number 12 has in store for us. We need at least one winner out of these three. Hopefully it'll be a big one too. This is so hard to scratch, it's making my my thumb hurt. Four, all right, last row, come on, we need a winner. Ugh, loser. All right, lucky 13, it's up to you now to show us some love and save this tragic session. Sixteen, lucky twenty-three, nine, two, and five, or a symbol. Please don't let us down. We need another winner. All right, we pulled another winner, matching 16. Oh, please be something big. But one win out of each book, we'll take that. Hopefully it's at least $50. Hopefully it's a million dollars. If I had a magic wand, that's what's gonna be sitting under there, but I don't have a magic wand. All right, so it's just that 16 for $20. All right, so 20, 45 plus five that we have banked, we have $50, which means that we get to buy two more tickets and then bank $10 toward a future session after that, in which we will probably buy like a quick pick for a Powerball ticket or a Mega Millions or something. But hopefully we won't need it. Hopefully the next two tickets, one will have a million dollars and then we can all be happy and satisfied. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning into part five of our group book scratch. I know it wasn't the best result, but you know what? We're still alive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye.